In this video, I want to show you how you can manually activate your Elementor Pro license on your website. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Once you've connected to your website and you are on your WP admin dashboard, sometimes you would have this pop up over here. Welcome to Elementor Pro and you will have to connect it. Most of the time, if you haven't already installed your Elementor Pro plugin on your website, you won't see this notice. But once you do and you need to connect your license, what you want to do is head over to Elementor and license or just connect and activate. That would send you straight away. Either it will load the following page or it will load the outer page. Once you go to Elementor, you go to license and right over here, you'll have this connect and activate. And sometimes it will send you to another web page. But in order to connect your Elementor Pro manually, what you want to do is head over to your URL and type here and mode equals manually Ellie. and hit enter once you hit enter it will load again and you'll have the following field you have your license over here what you want to do is head over to elementor once you're on the website just log into your account once you're on your account and you would see the following dashboard what you want to do is head over to one of your connected or if you're not connected to the website so you would see some other screen that would tell you to connect your elementor pro license but in my case I would hit the three dots on my other website that I've connected the Elementor Pro license and I would hit the view related subscription. Once I'm in here, you'll see under the Elementor Pro Advanced, this is a subscription that I am on and you head over to license key and the license key, you just copy it, head over back to your website and enter it here in your license key. Once you enter your license key and hit activate, your license key would be valid and you see that the status is now switched to activate. So this is how you connect your Elementor Pro license manually to your website. And if you would like to see any more tutorials on the matter, whether it's Elementor, WooCommerce, WordPress, I'll be really happy if you drop a comment down below on what you want to see next. I'll be really happy to make this tutorial for you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe or hit the like button if you did. I'm posting new videos on a weekly basis so make sure to stay updated for that. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.